Stories go, this is a spooky tree. Spooky <laughs> When did the ghost people finally move out of here? Do you remember? Uh, after Lupi died. Lupi died. Yeah. Here, uh, the ghost stories, as, as far as uh, uh, the lady in white, oh, yeah. right here, Truck. she appears on several occasions, walking down Los Rio Street, and she's standing behind it. <laughs> yeah, the cold gusts right now. <laughs> Does anybody know how old that tree is? Oh, God, no. There used to be two houses right here. The Yorba family had a house right here. It was torn down. There was an adobe, right? Uh, no. Was it right no, here? No. Uh, a smaller one, like a, just like a one room. Oh, down the other side of it there. Yeah, I thought it was just yeah. like right here somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's just like a one room adobe. Yeah, was it there big, when I was a kid? There was a big wooden, uh, wooden house here. Yeah. Kind of like the same wood. It was like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just a. a like a garage type, it was a big red, uh, old wooden house that was at right here. Mm -hmm. That was a driveway that went in between, when at that time with Jerry down. Palmer, and there was a little house right there. And I think uh, one of the Lobos lived on the other side, uh, Frank lived in the little house in the back that they tore down back in the early 60s. The house that was here, they, when they tore it down, they used the lumber and they built uh, Artie's house for Rita Lobos. Wow. Part of it. What happened with the ghost story? What what happened to the lady? Well, the, the lady in white here would appear and walk down the street here. Was that the one that got drowned in the creek or something? Uh, her baby. La Llorona. Her baby. And, and she and cried she, after she, her she, baby. That, be the, they called her La Llorona. She, uh, the baby drowned and, and you could hear her crying through here. And... Uh, Nobody ever seen her, but the lady in white was another one. She, she appeared to my friend when he was sleeping out on John's porch. <laughs> no, scared him. Creepy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, he claims, Jerry but. Homer. By yes. the way, it's my Nana's porch. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Nana's <laughs> porch. <laughs> just for the record, everyone watching this video, probably just me. <laughs> and he was going to give Joyce and Lisa a stack of paintings like this, you know, but some of them were a little. Risque. Risque. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they said, we don't want those valuable. dirty pictures. I, yeah, I Can you imagine how much those pictures would cost right now? Well, what happened to Jerry Palmer, um, his name, like I said, was John Searle. He painted on the name of John Searle. He got uh, that name, uh, Jerry, Jerry Palmer, when he was doing silent movies. It was actually in the movie King Kong. If you ever see the original King Kong movie, mm -hmm. there's a part where King Kong breaks through the through the to that barrier, and there's this guy, he's uh, African American, and he's looking up, he's by this like little kid, and he looks up and points, and King Kong steps on him. That's Jerry Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> he, li he lived here until 1972, 73 or something, and moved to Alcimer, and before he passed away, he, he wrote up all, all his artwork, went to, um, to the Boston Art Museum, and nobody can get those paintings, and he also wrote a book uh, that was never released, and he, he was all about the people up and down Los Rios Street. He mentioned everybody from Tilly Brown to your mother to uh, the Lobos, and uh, but he never released it. Uh, Tilly read the book and she was pretty upset by it. <laughs> so I don't know what happened in the book. We should have one. And you know, it's because it was all true. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Exactly. sure. The manuscript has to be in a real memoir. It's called the memoirs of Jerry Palmer. Oh, I mean, of, of John Searle. Yeah, look on the internet. It's on the internet. Before my sister-in-law, Junie, passed away, we were inside there. And a woman walked in and, and asked her if she was uh, June Ramos. And she said, yes. And she said, do you remember the time we were in here and that Indian appeared in, in, in that room? And she said, I remember that. <laughs> and uh, there was a house, a wooden structure on this side where uh, Dan Garcia and the family lived. Then on that side there was another wood structure where Jerry Palmer had his... Paintings yes, stuff. it was an additional, uh, it was a room for painting, like you said, a lot of windows. Mm -hmm. Babe, the last person to be born there is Mary Wanda. 
Random photo shoot? I should have brought his album down. No, one of the, it was one of the guys. Oh, they not open? It's like a nice little house here. Lester. Lester. <laughs> Lester. Yes, Lester. No, yeah. I should have brought my dad's album. This was named at Ramos House because my mom was the last native living here. And uh, the story about my grandma passing away, we were in the house, in the bedroom there with her. The moment she died, it sounded like someone took a French and hit the corner of the house all the way down. And we rushed out to see who's messing around. And one of the guys said, it could be the trees, the branches from the trees. There was no tree there, just a bush with a gas meter right there. <laughs> And we figured, well, it was time Grandma was letting us know she was leaving. So, you yeah. know. When did, you, when did your mom pass yeah, away? My mom passed away Spirit? down on Mission, Mission Street. Street. That was, uh, what year was that? 78? Uh, 79. 79, someplace in there. Uh, December 29th. Yeah. Hey, baby, and how about the cellar? You have a cellar here? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, it's pretty there cool. Was, that, uh, there, there, was, <laughs> there was some stories about Spirits? Spirits, you're right, but during Prohibition, okay. a lot of spirits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course. Oh, babe, I, so, who lived in the house prior to Nana, though? Tomas? Wasn't it Tomas that built the house? No, 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 no. He built that one. The one you lived in? Yeah, Theo Tomas. Yeah. yeah. So, I thought this was built by a Ramos no, as no. well. No, no, Mama okay. was the last native living here. Okay. That's why they named it Ramos. So did your mom like have more than one house around the area? This one no, in the, the house that burned. Right. Her her dad built that in 1930. Okay, that's when that was. Yeah, good. That's when, and he, when he died, he uh, mama got the house. Yeah, it was, I remember that morning. Herman, you made it. <laughs> Permanator. <laughs> You, you have your license? Not today. A handshake with you. <laughs> but I can tell you guys one thing. The discipline in those days, I presented to the kids want to survive. Not today's kids. No. So that one was my dad's house? That was your dad's house? And baby, yeah, if so you remember, cheap. you couldn't get away with nothing. This is my dad's that. old house. That's what I was telling Aunt Helen this morning. I said, The Solace you know, house. Should be a new restaurant. It was just that small town. Everybody knew who I belonged to. Thank you. And if I didn't do what I was supposed to, my parents knew about it before I got home. Did they beat you home? Yeah, we couldn't do anything and then they to get away from Oh, by all means. Yes, they, they beat us at home because we weren't behaving. But then you also had the freedom. <laughs> to run. As youngsters, there were about four or five of us here. And we decided, you know what, we're going to kind of run away from home. So we, uh oh, Watt and Jordan, remember, lived there and here. We went to Long Beach for four, three, four days. We came back, nobody missed us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. How old were you when you ran away from home? 14. How long were you gone? And no, for three or four days, he said. That's a long time. There was. Yes. No tortillas, no beans. <laughs> yeah, but we went to the pipe. Oh, okay, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I ran away for one day and my dad caught me at three. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't Just work out too good. <laughs> I skipped school one day and never again. Oh, oh no. Who's it? The Solace yeah, lived here. Oh, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Solace. Okay. This Tony Solace. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love this. I love the. the Victorian. Oh, it's so cute. It's kind of like New Orleans to me a little bit. Yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. I think of the painted ladies. That's uh, <laughs> over here. He matches it. My uncle built this in 1910. The other day I was in there and I asked the, the owner if she had seen any more uh, spirits. Carpet ghosts? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and she says no, because when I was living there, on three different locations, my wife Joyce was out with her friends, and uh, the back door would open, footsteps come into the kitchen, the, the dining room, the kitchen, and back out. The third time, I walked into the dining room with a little cooler, but I said to myself, well, a bunch of bull, all the stories I've heard, and I went and sat down and forgot about it. 
And I mentioned it to the ladies when, I first, when they first opened up. She said, funny you should say that. I said, why? She said, we get everything ready for next day. Uh, on that side, she says, there's uh, tables are disarranged when we come in the morning. Uh -huh. And I told her, I think I know who's doing it, my aunt, because she was kind of <laughs> She, we, we walk by here at night, you know, during the day she'd stand out there, yeah. quack, 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 and scare the devil out of her. <laughs> <laughs> and she, uh, she would go to the back door and, and holler at for her husband, which was a barn in the back, holler at the husband, you know, okay, Tomas, come home, I know you're out there. He died in 1926, and this was in the 40s. <laughs> wow. So she was, uh, it, it, cars coming. It unsettled, it unsettled her mind. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All horses and donkeys and burros. Uh, when did the, the, the Rodmans actually move in? Yeah, the Rodmans. The Rodmans, when did they actually move in? From the 30s or 40s? Oh, we started, uh, we moved out of there in, uh, yeah, so we're just starting to play. In 67. And then go back down to the end. You moved out of here? Yeah, because I remember going to their house. I thought it was a little earlier now. But from here, we went to the Palisades. Nice. Pinky Yarbo? Pinky lived with us. His aunt left the Tilly and gone to bed next door. And Pinky lived with us because he was. Uh, getting a little troubled, you know. <laughs> about the old house that was here with it, where, uh, where the arrow lived. Uh, yeah, right here, there was right another house the right here. House yeah. And Lisa lived there, and Alfred lived there for a while. Oh, really? And they lived there. Yeah. Then they moved over here. And they moved, everybody's moved back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard being a journalist. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa lived in here somewhere, huh? Uh, right here? Let's see, she, uh... Oh, boy. It would have been Luke Bell and Jackie Gallivies and Cody. Oh, oh God. So they, they live. Wally Crew. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, 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 they live here. Yeah. 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 I had a run in with Jackie Gallivies. I think the house is right here, huh? Oh, yeah. I remember what? What about the ideas of you? Is it in Canada? Yeah. Uh, we were like, that was taken down quite a while ago. Yeah, we did it really funny. 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 All the houses in the back are all fabricated houses. Who told you you could do that to me? I was like, the houses in the back there. <laughs> yes, I was well, well developed. Yeah. I know. What about this one, babe? Right. What about this house right here? Yeah. That's been here yeah. as far back yeah. as I can remember. That's where our our governor, our, gov our, our mayor, Mr. Jack Soto. Uh, yeah, there's there's where he was, he was born here, but he was here in the late fifties. Yeah, there, the Soto's like, lived there. Brothers and sisters, they're never allowed to come out and play. Ever. <laughs> you come in. Jack looked out and his dad grabbed a naked in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't allow it. They never played out here. Never. Yeah, he, uh, wow. the father. Not would... good cause, of course. No. Only, <laughs> only when we weren't around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the father didn't allow them to join the service either. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. All I know is they were in a straight line all the mm -hmm. time, man. They weren't allowed too much. Yeah. So, yep. We wouldn't even play in this area. We always played over there by Wick's place. Or yeah. not Wick, I mean uh, Clarence's place. Mm -hmm. you talk about strict, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alfred and Lisa lived here. Yeah, yeah. Sanchez, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. We expanded this house somewhat. Just, uh, there's a kitchen in the back, a big kitchen. You know the story about the crier, etc. I mean, it was a big story here. I love ghost stories. The they scare me. But it's from South America. Of the crying? Of the, yeah. Just migrated. Our, people migrated here. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead. South in North America. Wow.